Okay, I think if I'm going in sequence, um, this is Tanya again. I'm doing, um, I think this is video four. And this one, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm just going to give you some little tips, um, some little things you need to know that you might not necessarily get told by your nurses or your ostomy folks. Um, I am going to talk about, so let's say that um, this is an ostomy that needs to be emptied. Well, we already talked about emptying, but one of the things I forgot to say is, initially when you open the ostomy, like if I'm at home, I really don't care um, about the odor until I'm finished, because I live alone. Um, but if you're out or you're in somebody else's house and you don't want the odor to go everywhere, before you open the bag, get a piece of tissue, ball it up, and it's a new pouch, so it's a little difficult to open. And it's got nothing in it. Gee willers. Okay. Before you open it up, stick the tissue down in there. And what that does is it will absorb the um, fragrance. The fragrance. That's going to come out of there. Um, now, the thing about that is, so you just kind of hold that there. Remember I talked about letting the air out? You want to let that push the air out. Be careful so you don't waste any stool. Um, and then you just take that out, toss it in the toilet. And then you go ahead and finish your completion. So that said, we got it all clean, cleaned out. Now today is bath day, and we haven't, we're not removing our um, appliance. So this is a tip that I got to um, take a bath, to be able to take a shower, and not be concerned with my um, appliance coming off or what have you. Um, so you take, I take a towel, or you can cut the, take the towel and cut it to fit exactly the size of your ostomy. Um, however you want to do it, but phone's ringing. Hold one second. Um, sorry. So then you take this towel and let's go back to the mirror because I do everything in the mirror. So remember I'm going to get my little step stool so you can see what I'm doing. What do I do with my tape? Oh, here it is. Um, I'm stand in the mirror so I can see, just like you can see. And again, remember, you're going to be naked because you're getting ready for bath time. So you're going to take your, if you're going to have the whole towel, you're going to take it, you fold up, and this is just a face towel, standard face towel. You fold up, you fold over. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then you tape and this is the tape I recommend because this works good for my skin it's also um, waterproof um, so I should say waterproof but it works well with water let me say it that way so you're going to tape that in place mm -mm -mm. And I know somebody's out there saying, ooh, that's too much. It's really not. Once you realize how very free your shower is going to be, then it's worth every minute of it. Um, just keep rolling it off. And you just take all the sides of it down. all the sides down. See, I'll have to retake the other side because I hold oh, that towel kind of sloppy. Take it down. And take it down. Okay. Alright, so then after that, you're going to, so this will, this will do, we're going to put a piece of saran um, over it. And so what this will do is, if there's water that goes in under the saran, it will absorb into the towel before it gets to your barrier, um, to the part that attaches to uh, mess up your uh, your contact to your, for your appliance. So, what you're going to do is then get whatever your choice of wrap is. They typically recommend the self-sticking kind. But you could take a uh, plastic bag from Walmart, from any store, 
um, those little shopping bags that we get at the grocery stores or wherever, and you can cut it to fit, or you can use this sticky, 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 and you can cut it to fit, you know, as much area if you want to cover up. And you're going to end up with a piece about however space you need to cover. So this is my piece that I use. And so I put that on top of there. And you see I still got tape on it from when I used it the other day. Um, and it's okay. It's just water that's on it. Um, so, same thing with that. Take that down. One at the top. One on the bottom. You got the sides. sealed in, I'm good to go, and I can now disrobe and take my shower. So let's say I took my shower, da, 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 da. it's all done. When I'm finished with my shower and I dry off, you want to dry off all the parts that water may drip from. Um, so once you get everything dry, you're going to wipe that off, then you're going to remove it. You're just going to remove it, and your skin will be wet so it'll come off much easier. Then you want to take it and you want to come on over here and you want to hang it in a place where it can dry. And you might want to pull the tape off of it. I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, just depends. And you can reuse that until um, you feel like, you know, it's time to clean. I usually reuse it for a couple of days, about three days. Um, then I throw it away and I cut another piece. Um, but it's up to you, you know. But like I said, you can use anything that's going to be a good plastic covering for your towel. Then you take your towel off. Some days, depending on how much I rush and how much care I take in putting my saran wrap on, my towel is pretty wet. So, of course, you want to make sure you hang that someplace. See, again, my skin will be a little wet, so it'll come up easier. You want to hang that someplace where... It will dry as well. And because my towel rack is full, I'll hang it on this rack. So it dries. So it's dry for my next um, shower. And so basically, get rid of your tape, throw it in the trash, and you're ready to get dressed. And then the next video, we're probably going to talk about um, different clothing options and different things you can do to um, be comfortable in your clothes and be secure with your appliance and clothing, um, clothing options. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.